So welcome back. So let's try and install Angular Material 2. And right out of the box, I can tell you they are not complete with this. Let's have a look at the components here. But this is what we're talking about when we're talking Angular 2. Let's just have a look. Like input fields, when I click this, it lights up. And uh, let's just remove this for the fun of it and press away. You see it makes some great zoom. So it's it's a pretty nice menus that pop up like this. We have side nav bars. Um, where we can open them like this. We're going to play around with that later. We have cards. I really like those cards looking something like this where you can also put in headers. So they just give you a nice uh, look and feel like this. Uh, some buttons and when you click them they have like the blinky effect here if you can see that. So I just like the material design and I'm not a designer so I, I'm happy they can help me doing that. So that's the material design. We're going to try and install that. So going back to material front page here and get started. Uh, the link is up here, by the way, right here, material, Angular IO guide getting started. That was where we're at right now. Um, they have a few things here I need to do. Let me zoom in for you. There we go. So step one, I have to have a CLI project running and we already have that. So let's go all the way down here to install it and save it. Now, this is another way instead of adding this directly into my package station like we did last time, I'm going to show you how to install directly into the package JSON with a command. So in my terminal, I'm going to add another. Um, so now I have two terminals. And this one is for running the application. This one will now be for installing stuff. So I'll add this npm install dash dash save Angular material. I just got that from the page. So nothing magic there. I'll press enter and it'll download and install and automatically update my package JSON file here. So now you'll see a new one popping up here when it's done inside the development part. And here it is right here. So it, it just installed it and added it to my package JSON. So that's all done. Um, great. Step two, what is that all about? It's very simple. You have to go and import another module that somebody built for us called Angular Material Module like this, right? So I'm going back into my app module and I'm going to import a new thing in here called the Angular Material Module. So we do this, we paste it in here. Now we have the Angular Material Model as well. Let's see if that's enough. There we go, Material Module. But I need to do more. It seems I need to call for root, meaning that it's for all my pages in the application. So going back to my code here, and I'm going to do imports Angular Module for root. Everything is going to be built on top of Angular Material. You could start on dividing that up. We'll look at the, when we get to routing, we can play around with this. Not now. Okay, back to the play page because we're not done yet. One more thing you need to do, and I missed this the first time, so it's important here. You also require to apply a theme to your Angular setup, and you can get it inside the theming guide. I'll click that one. Here you can actually find some of the default themes that you can use. Hopefully it'll load, maybe not. Theme Angular material, and going in here and scrolling down, there are some pre-built themes that we can actually import here inside our style CSS. So I'm doing that. I'm going to import this inside my style CSS file. So this is just another way to import uh, instead of like we did last time where we put it inside the styles, we can actually put it directly in the style CSS. Let me just try and show what I mean here. So going back to the code, if we go into the, the style CSS, I can just place that in here if I want to. Another solution is going back to the Angular CLI file and finding the styles and adding it in here like we did in the last lesson, right? So those are the ways you can do it. We're going to stay with the import like they show in the tutorial. Okay, that should be it. Now it actually should be up and running and next time we'll try and test to see if it actually works. See you in the next lesson.